So here we are with our Hello World .NET Core console application that we started in Visual Studio Code. And so we're going to look at how do we run and see the results of our application. So I still have my terminal window open from when I previously created my application. You're welcome to come over here and click the little trash can icon on those at any time that you feel like you are done with the console window. Um, you can also click the X if you just wanna clear those out of the way. Um, it Clicking the X doesn't kill the terminal window, so it's still running in the background for anything that you might be doing. You have to click the trash can to actually delete those, but that way it just frees up some more screen real estate for us. But I will show you, um, and, and I got rid of those because I want you to practice opening the terminal. Uh, so again, I go to my folder and I right click and I open an integrated terminal. I double check that I'm in the correct folder. So I'm not in the main samples folder, I'm actually in the project folder named Hello World. So in order to run our application, which is just gonna print out the statement, hello world. In the terminal window, I type .NET, almost always our commands are gonna start with .NET. And again, that's yellow because that's a keyword the system recognizes. And then we click run. So what it's gonna do is compile our application, execute that for us. All that application does is console write line. So we just get the statement, hello world, and we can see it right here. We printed that, we wrote it. You can put something else in here like, hello, C-sharp people, right? And so we save. And now it says, hello, C-sharp people. All right, so that's really, really the, uh, the basics of, of running your application. We're going to get into some debugging, like how do I actually look at the variables in my application and get some more um, complexity into our console applications. But really that's the basics of how we run and evaluate the output that we are getting from our .NET Core console applications.